And when the hour was come, this is verse 14. And he said, And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. I'm going to take you over to St. John 13 after a while. And St. John in the 13th chapter, he writes about what took place after they had the communion service. And the church that the church here at Pine Mountain, we practice today the communion service and the service that followed after communion, which was the foot washing. And, and it seems like today the church world and people, including us, has got away from the foot washing thing. And I guess the COVID virus, the virus, the COVID-19 virus has separated people from that. Yeah. But I tell you what, I want us today as Christians to realize in our heart how important this service is today for our Christian lives. Uh, amen. They listen. And he said unto them, now the disciples, the apostles is with him, and he said unto them, with the with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you. And he said, before I suffer. Amen. Listen how that's word. Praise the Lord. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And I tell you what, if you have people, we've read this and we've looked back at this today. I praise God. And he told them, and Jesus prophesied and told them today, praise God. He said, this kingdom I'm going to tear down. Amen. And he said, I'm going to rebuild it again in three days. And they never could understand that. But what they didn't know today, praise God, is talking about that God was going to raise Jesus from the dead after three days and establish a kingdom, uh, praise God, today that was going to be forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen. And he took the cup. Listen to this. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, listen what he said. He said, take this and divide it among yourselves. And I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine. That's what we got here today is the fruit of the vine. The great, amen. Listen to that, praise God. Until the kingdom of God shall come. Amen. Uh, glory to God today. And he took bread. Here it is. This bread we have is the unleavened bread. That has no yeast in it. That has nothing in it to make it. It's unleavened. Uh, praise the Lord. And I thought it, even back in, in time, as, as tradition in our church, we tried to do everything just exactly like the Word of God teaches today. Uh, uh, praise God. And, and not what man thinks about it or what nobody yeah. else thinks about it, but what doth the Word of God say. Yes. That is what we're really interested in today, yeah. praise yeah. God. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it yeah. and gave unto them, saying, yeah. Come on this bread. Break the bread. Listen. Praise God. Saying, this is my body which I have given for you. That little old bread that we want to break there, that piece today, that is a symbol today that the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, give His body. He suffered in the flesh. He, uh, praise God, He shed His blood. That's what, when you take that, now take this, this represents the body of Christ. That He gave His body today for us, for us sinner people. Praise the Lord. Uh, today, glory to God. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. When you take that bread and you break that bread and that's a symbol and represents the body of the Lord Jesus Christ as often as you do, remember Jesus. That's the trouble they got into in the Corinthian church. They was eating and drinking uh, I, I may not go back there and get into that. They were eating and drinking and, and, and getting drunk and just getting drunk. And you know what made it wrong for them today? Oh, it seemed like people in time past in church were, was afraid to do this. But what they done that to just eating and drinking and was not discerning the body Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I thank God for this, Jim. I thank God the Lord brought me to 
the knowledge and the wisdom of this through the Spirit of God. Whether people realize it or not, this is a spiritual service that we're doing right here. Brother Jim, to our Savior, and for Him, and remembering Him today, praise God. Listen to this, praise God. Likewise, also the, also the cup after supper, likewise also the cup after supper, saying, this cup, this little cup right here, of the fruit on the vine, Listen to this, praise God. This cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you. That little old cup, the fruit of the vine right there, praise God, Brother Wester, that represents today the cup, this new covenant, this testimony, the blood that Jesus Christ shed on Calvary. You know that soldier? They pierced him in the side and the Bible set forth with come blood. And one of that blood that he shed there today was for the remission of sin. This is the testimony. This is the blood today. Amen. Hallelujah to God. I really pray. I, I praise the Lord. You know the Bible gives many examples. And the scriptures that I wrote here in the last few weeks, I read, tried to keep it and stay right in the confines of the Word of God. Amen. Today, listen, hallelujah. I praise God. This cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you. But behold, but behold the hand of him that betrays me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And that was Judas, wasn't it? He betrayed Christ and sold him to get for three, thirty pieces of silver. Praise the Lord today. Uh, glory to God. And, and he said, and there was also a strife among them, uh, which of them should be accounted the greatest. Listen, I'm going to read just a little bit more here. And he said unto them, The king to the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye, but ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you. Let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that doth serve. Amen. I thank God for the, for the word of God. Let's go to uh, John uh, real quick in the 13th in the 13th chapter over here and I'm going to read and listen to this I'm going to take you back uh, here to the foot washing. But I want you to listen to how it's worded and how it's read. And that there's even an order and a fashion today that we can need to do this in order to be like the Word of God. Amen. St. John 13, uh, uh, chapter, and I, I believe in the first verse, and this is what he said. And he said, Now, now before the feast of the Passover, that's what they were sitting down, at the feast of the Passover. I hope everybody knows here what the feast of the Passover was. The feast of the Passover is, praise God, is whenever that the Jews today, whenever they was down over there in Egypt in bondage, praise God. And the Lord sent a death angel. Told me he's going to kill. You know, he's going to kill. You know, kill them uh, today if you didn't have the blood, the, the blood of the sacrifice on the door windows and the linen. Uh, praise God. When that death angel comes through, if you if you haven't made that blood sacrifice, if you have put it on your door lint lintels today, when that death angel comes, there's going to be death in every family. Well, Israel today was obey, they obeyed the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah to God. And they put that sacrifice, that blood sacrifice on the doorpost and the lintel. And when that death angel come through, it passed by Israel's house. Uh, do you know tonight that Jesus Christ is our Passover? Amen. That He shed His blood for us today and for our sins today. Glory to God. But they were seven, and it was, it was written today but you, in, in the law that they had to celebrate the feast of the Passover. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Forever. For eternity. It's for the Jews. Listen, but listen, listen, let me get into that. I praise God. And he said, now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that he, 
his hour was come that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. Amen. He knew his time was about up. Yes. He, he praised God. And what about that? He was going back word to his Father. Amen. Today that was where he was at before he yes. come down here, wasn't he? Amen. Today, glory to God. And listen what he said. Praise the Lord. And praise God. And he said, let me, let me get the, I want to get that. He said, Jesus knew that his hour was come that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. Listen what it said. Having loved his own which were in the world. Amen. He, that, he loved them how long? <laughs> to the end. Yeah. You know, I read this uh, about a week or so back, and I said, boy, this is wonderful, ain't it? Amen. Today, how Jesus left. He said, and supper being ended, and they look, they've already eaten here, looks like, according to this scripture, and supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas, this character, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and he, and he that was come from God, he come from God. Yes. I tell you, I got these, I got these allergies. <laughs> praise the Lord. I praise God. Listen, it is. And Jesus, knowing that the Father had given into his hands, and that he was come from God, and went to God. He come from God. Jesus did. And the apostles knew that today, praise God. But the world today don't know that. Amen. But I wanted to read this and bring this in for the simple reason that when we do these things, we need to do them just exactly like the Word of God teaches them. Praise God. And he raised from suffering. And he raised from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. Yes. And after that he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them uh, with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt neither wash my feet. Then Jesus answered him, If I wash not, if I wash thee not, thou hast not part with me. You know, that's a pretty strong commandment that he gives. But what if we don't take part of this? Amen. I'm going to get a little deeper and a little stronger here in a minute with this praise the Lord today. Glory to God. Listen. And Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my head and my head. Amen. And Jesus said unto him, He that washeth needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every bit, and you are clean, but not all. For he knew that who would betray him there, uh, therefore said he, ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garment and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? I love this. Ye call me master. Listen. You call me master and Lord, you say, Well, for so I am. That's who he really was. He was Lord and master. Praise God. It if I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another feet. Yes. And the church practiced this. And I've seen people get blessed in it. Amen. Amen. Because it was an humbling thing. Yes. That you could get down on your knees before your brother and wash his feet. Amen. And the sisters, that's why we practice it. The brothers wash the brothers' feet. The sisters wash the sisters' yes, feet. And I've seen some wonderful blessings come yeah, upon yeah. people right now. Why? Well, I wanted to put this in because that is the way the church was as as John is writing. They'd already eat, but then they had the foot washing afterwards. 
If we read this and understand this, praise God. Ha hallelujah. And he said, you call me Master and Lord. You say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example. Listen. That you should do as I have done to you. And that's the reason as we take this communion, as we pray, and it's good and, and to tarry, to pray and tarry and pray for one another. Yes. When we take this today, why, why would you pray? Because you love. Amen. I tell you, you know, this, this, this communion service is not about me. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. It's about Jesus yes. today. It's giving Him honor today. Praise God. Uh, uh, glory to God. L listen to that. Verily, verily, I say in verse 16, the servant is no greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that is sent him. Who sent him? God sent Jesus down here, and Jesus wasn't greater than him. And uh, you can go read in Philippians in, in, in chapter 2, he said he thought enough robbery to be equal with God. Amen. Hallelujah today. But what he's teaching us today is a common. Uh, we're common people. We're, uh, uh, there's no big eyes and no little news. We're all just common. Just com just one. Yes. Is it Jim one? We're just common people today. We got, we got all that in common. Amen. I uh, praise God today. Uh, listen today. Uh, 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 glory to God. And, and, he, and he said... If you know these things, happy are you, are ye, if you do them. Amen? Amen. I'm going to go back to and St. John chapter 6. And, and if anybody else wants to do it, y'all can start another song. But I tell you what, this, this, this bread, this bread is broken now. That's his body. Amen. That represents his body. Amen. This fruit of the vine today, the testament, this new testament that's in Jesus' blood. That's what you do. That's what that's, what that's about today. Uh, praise God. This is honor, to honor, honor the Lord. Uh, 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 St. John chapter 6. I'm going to try to get through this real quick here if I can. But he said, this is what he said. It, not that any man has seen the Father save he which is of God, he has seen the Father. Listen, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Listen to verse 48. Listen to what he said. He said, I am the bread of life. That's a big question now. If they asked Jesus, then Jesus said he's the bread of life. Well, how could, how could, how could he be the bread of life? How could he eat him, you know? And listen to what he said. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. Woo, I, I felt that manna come on down yes, in here. Hallelujah to God. I felt him coming down. Hallelujah. You mean you can eat that and not die? Yeah, Listen what he said. I am the living bread which comes down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give him is what? My flesh today. What does that represent today? That bread, the flesh today, the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, which I will give for the life of the world. Did he give it? Amen today. You know, I, don't it make you feel good? When you can read the word and understand what he's saying to that. Then the, the Jews therefore strove among them and said, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? They didn't understand the spiritual part of this today. Praise God. Then Jesus said unto them, Brother, Brother, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh. Listen. Listen to this. Brother, Brother, I said, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, drink his blood, you have no life in you. How do you eat his flesh? That bread. That's the symbol of his body, his flesh today. That drink today, praise God. That's the blood. That's the, the, this New Testament that was written. 
in His blood, that blood today that He sacrificed it, took away our sins today. Just do that and believe it. I got a testimony. I, want, I love to encourage people to do this. I want you to examine yourself, pray. Don't, don't, you, don't, I don't want to put you under no pressure whatsoever. If you don't want to do it tonight, do it tomorrow. If you don't want to do it tomorrow, do it some, next month. But be sure before you leave this earth that you be protected for that. Who believes that? I do. Amen. Today, who's Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, I, I really do I, I really do praise the Lord. But listen, he said, uh, 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 praise God. He said, Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up. What? At the last day. Is that on the resurrection? At the last day, praise God. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my uh, blood dwelleth in me and I in him. Now, wherefore, praise the Lord, is that today, glory to God. As the living Father hath sent me, I live by the Father, so he, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is the bread which come down from heaven. Listen, not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead, he that eateth this bread shall live forever, ever, ever, and ever, and ever. Thank God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. If y'all got some song, come on. I'm going to eat that blood. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this the body of Christ today. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. This is right. Body of Lord. This 
know, I had to, I had to thaw. And, uh, sometimes it judge you I don't love too much, I guess. But, uh, uh, you know, have you ever, if you had an inspiration to do something other and then, don't, and then you don't do it right then? And yes. And that's kind of, I, I like to, you know, leave this open to when people, whenever they decide they want to do it any part of the service, do it. I said, well, I because in fact, sometimes, uh, you know, the enemy, or, or the Lord said to go pray for somebody, and I don't do it, and somebody else will, you know. But and that's just kind of the way the flesh is. Yeah. You know, try, it try, you know, the old enemy tried best to talk to you. I do something good, and we can't give place to him. I, I, I just thank God. Well, I, I praise God. I praise God. I thank God.